Please welcome product managers Evelyn Medina and Brian Chi. <laughs> Evelyn, welcome. Hi, Brian. Hi. So I understand we've come quite a long way with Windows XP from where we've been just, just a few years ago with Windows. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what we wanted to do today is just show how far we've actually come since Windows 95. Okay, well, take it away. Great. Okay. Thank you. So today, I'm going to be showing you Windows XP on this machine here. And I'm going to be showing you Windows 95 and how excellent it was back then. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to do, we're going to cover four points. One, we're going to start off with how easy it is to use. Then we're going to move on to device support, reliability, and then finally, we're going to wrap it up with some fun stuff at the end. So let's go ahead and kick this thing off. So Evelyn, how easy was it for us to actually just share a computer with Windows 95? Oh, Brian, it wasn't. It was, it was really easy. If I wanted to share my computer with my brother, the only thing I had to do was close down each and every single application, <laughs> log myself off as a user, and then he could log himself on. Pretty easy. Well, let me show you what we do in Windows XP now. Okay. Now, let's say this is my sister, and she loves to play Free Cell a lot. But uh, for me, I need to use the computer, so I'm going to just log her off. And as you can see, she still has her programs running right mm -hmm. here. And I can actually log on to my account, and I can start running applications without ever having to shut down any of her programs. Wow. That is a lot easier. <laughs> so Evelyn, why don't you show us how people uh, got access to their programs back in 95? OK, sure. So in order to access all their programs in Windows 95, <laughs> you had the amazing cascading format, right? Very, very easy to get to your programs, right? You know, I think we made it a lot simpler in XP. Okay. Windows XP, okay. we actually have, as you can see, the most frequently used list. And this list is actually going to populate based on the amount of times that you launched the program. So I don't have to dig down or drill down into those cascading menus like you did back in Windows 95. Okay, I'll give you that. <laughs> so, Evelyn, what, what if we wanted to actually to configure the start menu? How easy was that to do? Oh, okay, so this is easy. This is really easy. If I want to add Media Player onto my start menu, the only thing I have to do is right-click on the taskbar, click on Properties, click on Start Menu Programs, click on Add, browse until I get to the Media Player. Let me find it. Yep, uh, there, there, it there it is. Click on Open, click on Next. Pin it to the start menu, click on next. I'll keep it the same name, click finish, click OK, and there you go. I'm in. <laughs> I think we made it a lot easier in Windows XP now. In Windows XP, all we have to do is find the program. Here's my media player. Click, drag, and presto. Okay. It only takes me like three steps. I'll give, I'll give you that too. <laughs> So Evelyn, how about how easy was it to actually find and organize your documents on Windows 95 then? Okay, so this is not that hard. All, in order for me to access my documents, which was new in Windows 95, all I had to do was click on my computer, click on the C drive, click on my documents. Let me open that up so you can see it a little bit better. Then if I wanted to organize my files, all I had to do was click on View, click on Toolbar, and I had three different options. I had List View, Small Icon View, or Large Icon View. Okay. Well, with Windows XP, let me show you this. We made it a lot easier to find the My Documents in the first place by putting okay. it here on the Start menu. So there's My Documents. And as you can see, I still have the same views that you do, but I've got the new ones called Show in Groups. And as you can see, it will organize my files based on, you know, as in this case, modified. So we know a lot of users have difficulties finding their files and programs. And for example, I like to find my programs by the last modified. Oh, so even yesterday. Yeah, so I can work, find things by, what I worked on yesterday or even by today. Okay. okay, so now in Windows 95, how, why don't you show us how easy it was to actually to find programs on your taskbar? So why don't we just open up like Outlook, okay. for example? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open up Microsoft Outlook, and I'm going to select all of my emails, and I'm going to open those up. And as they, as they open up, Brian, you can see that it's actually very easy for me to find a particular email that I need. All I have to do, all I have to do is hover over each and every button until I get to the right subject line. Well, there it's like go. playing memory with your computer, isn't it? Well, kind of. Yeah. Well, let me show you how it is in Windows XP. So I'm going to go ahead and open up all these emails as well. 
And I want you to watch the taskbar here. Okay, so as these programs start to open up on your machine, they actually consolidate into this one single taskbar here so that you don't have the clutter like you did in Windows 95. But look at this. Okay. I click on this here, and it organizes all my emails into one list. So, so, that, it's, yeah. so it's a lot easier for me to read them. Yeah, that is a lot easier. Okay, yeah. Evelyn, I'm, I'm going to need to ask you this, but uh, how are you going to shut all those down now? Oh, well, one at a time. So. Why don't you go ahead and get started? Okay. Now, with Windows XP, we actually made it a lot easier to shut these programs down by having the option that says Close Group. So all I can do is click on Close Group, and it shuts down all my emails quickly and easily for me. Hmm. So this not only applies to uh, Outlook. <laughs> You're still going over there? Yeah, I'm still okay. going. So this not only applies to Outlook, but it applies to any application that opens up multiple windows, such as like Internet Explorer. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about some device support now. Okay. So Evelyn, I have this lovely DV camera. What can we do with this in Windows 95? So I got to ask, how do you connect to it? Looks like a 1394 cable. Okay, so nothing, because we didn't support it back then. Hmm. So, how, well, <laughs> how easy was it to actually to uh, install devices in Windows 95 then? Uh, it was pretty easy. All you had to do, all you had to do was install new device drivers, install some new hardware, crack open the computer case. It was pretty easy. So, <laughs> all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this bad boy in. Now, Windows XP you know, only supports like new technologies like 1394, right. makes it easier to install. But we also support new devices such as this DV camera. But here, check this out. When I turn this thing on, and on the screen here, you're going to see that it's going to give me a new device window. So Windows XP actually recognizes that this is a digital video camcorder, and it's going to give me an application to run with it. And in this case, it's going to be Windows Movie Maker. So this not only applies to like digital video cameras, but also applies to, hey, see the crowd. Hey, wave, guys. <laughs> So this also applies to like digital video cam camcorders and other devices you plug in. So are you saying that I don't have to hunt for my applications anymore? They're right there? For the exactly. Right it will just pop it up and start allowing you to use the device with your computer quickly and easily. Okay, I'll give you that too then. <laughs> so why don't we just go ahead and talk about uh, reliability now. Okay. So Windows XP is based on the Windows 2000 architecture, which means that it is at least 10 times Yes, 10 times more reliable than Windows 95. But as we all know, you know you're going to run into some problems with your computer eventually someday. So with Windows 95, could you show us you know, what kind of tools and what kind of help that you had back then? Sure, absolutely. So I would access help from the start menu. And as you can see, this is all the help that I have. I have tips and tricks. I've got troubleshooting. I have you know a few how-to articles, your basic information. Wow, looks like the same stuff that you had back, literally back in 95. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> well, how about the tools then? What kind of tools did we have in 95, too? Um, well, I had ScanDisk and DistiFrag. All that you need in an operating system. <laughs> All right, so let me show you with Windows XP. Windows XP, we have the new help and support. Okay. And in help and support, we actually give you one-click access to all of your common help topics, as well as one-click access to all of your tools. Mm -hmm. But as you see here, on this bottom corner, we have the new dynamic headlines, which is going to give us updated support information about our computer. Wow. Now, let me go ahead and show you one of the tools that we've got, remote assistance. Now, remote assistance is going to allow me to connect to another computer, and it's going to be allow me to see what's on their machine, mm -hmm. and if they want me to, I can take control of their machine so I can fix their computer for them. Wow. That is pretty amazing. So are you saying you don't even have to, you don't even have to call somebody and try and guesswork and figure out what it is that they're looking at? No, so I, you know, whenever my mom says, hey, I need problems, I have a problem with my computer, and she starts describing, what's this little icon here? I, I can actually see what she's saying and actually help her out with it oh, now. That's pretty great. So let's take a look at the other tools. Another tool we have is called System Restore. Now, System Restore is like a time machine for your computer. And what's going to allow us to do is to roll your machine back to a point in time that you know your computer is working. So whenever you run System Restore, it's going to take system checkpoints based on whenever you install new applications, whenever you install new devices, and at scheduled time intervals as well. So if you know your machine was working 
two days ago before you installed the application or four days ago before your kids got to and started like, mucking around with your computer, then you can use System Restore, roll your machine back, and get back to a working configuration again. Oh, Brian, but Windows 95 did have a System Restore option too. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it did. It was called pulling out your floppies, backing up your data, reformatting your system, and then pulling out a good book to read. Wow. So how long did it take you, take you to do then? A few hours. A couple chapters. <laughs> so with, Windows, with System Restore, we can actually go through that in about five minutes and have your machine back up and running again without all that pain. Oh, so are you saying I don't have to be at my computer for no, a couple hours? No, not anymore. So okay. let's go ahead and wrap this up with some fun stuff then. Okay. So Evelyn, why don't you show us some of the great uh, screensavers and multimedia that we had back in Windows 95? Okay, so this is, one, this is my favorite. This is a Dangerous creature screensaver from Plus Pack. You ready? I remember the bubbles. I remember that. Pretty impressive. Yeah. Pretty impressive. You know, that was pretty impressive technology for 1995. But, uh, you know, like Windows 95, Windows XP is going to have a plus pack as well. And we kind of want to give you a little teaser. So once you come over here okay. and take a look at this new screensaver that we've got. Oops. Take a look at this. Now, That's this impressive. is, yeah, this is some great technology. Mm -hmm. We've actually utilized, you know, Great multimedia, and this actually looks really great on this uh, Pentium 4 machine that I've got here. So, anyways, you know, we actually showed you Windows 95 and Windows XP and actually how they compared. We showed you how Windows Net XP is easier to use, supports new technologies and devices, is 10 times more reliable than Windows 95, and has great multimedia. So. Well, I, I have to admit, it is faster, it is easier, it's a lot simpler to use. Well, there you have it. Windows XP is the best operating system we've got. So, thank you for coming out. Thanks, guys.